Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a review on the Bondi Sands new product, the One Hour Express new foam. So here it is. That's just the packaging there. I reckon the packaging is really, really nice. So basically it's just a silver aerosol bottle and or aerosol can. And so it's got the packaging of the... Um, Bondi Sands logo and then it's like a blue metallic down the bottom and then it just says there the one hour express self tanning foam sell on quality coconut scent quick dry formula and Australian made which um, it says on most of the Bondi Sands products so yeah, um, they obviously released this product because it's a really good idea because obviously normal tans you have to leave on for at least 8 hours and it feels really gross sleeping in your tan or just when you have things to do around the house and your tan sticks to all the walls. I know my mum gets really angry at me when there's all tan on the walls. So 225 mils, um, so it should last you quite a few times. The whole launch was like really crazy. They got all influencers coming on private jet from Melbourne to Sydney and a whole party. So I feel like the product has been hyped up a lot. So it'll be interesting to see how good this actually works. So on the back here it says, Time, 30 minutes, you get a light to medium tan, one hour a dark tan, and two to three hours the darkest tan. So I feel like you'll get a really nice tan out of two to three hours. Just to clarify, I'm not naked right now. I've got one of those like little bando things on. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to be showing you how to put it on, and then I'll wait an hour and then come back. So the pump bottle is a bit different. That's what it looks like there, and it's still foam, so I've shaken it. Um, so then I can put it onto the thing. Oh, it's so cool. It's like a whipped... It smells good. It's like a whipped mousse, if you can see there. Oh, it's actually turning quite dark straight away. So it was a much lighter colour once I put it onto the mitt. And now a few seconds have gone and it's developing to like a chocolatey colour. Kind of looks really yummy to eat. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to put a bit more on. So like, as you can see, they're the two colours. See, it's gone darker and that one. So while that's um, doing that, I'm going to put it all over my body. So as you can see, it's got pretty dark straight away, which is good as it's showing. It's an instant tan. So I'm just going to put that all on my arm. That's one layer there already. I'm going to go and do my other arm. My neck and chest. I'm going to probably do my chest off camera just because I've got this bando on and um, I want it down to my boobs so there's no like lines or anything. As you can see by the second layer it's got pretty dark already. So that's how it looks so far. Um, looks pretty dark on the side. I'm gonna go tan the rest of my body. Um, I'm not gonna tan my face just because I'm gonna put just gonna put makeup on and sometimes I do find tan does break me out a lot just because you don't wanna like obviously you're not exfoliating your face as much and washing it as you would if you have tan on your face because you don't want it to come off. So I just find um, baby cream or makeup works best to just um, blend it in with to my neck and the colour match is pretty good too. So I'm just going to go put the rest on my body and then wait an hour. I'll wait before. Wait an hour, come back, show you how it looks and then I'll wash it off and then come show you again. That's the colour of the tan before I'm about to wash it off. So it's been an hour. So it's now been an hour and I'm going to go wash it off and then I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back. I've had a shower. So um, I've washed my tan off only after an hour. I wanted to um, just give it a go, just leaving it on for an hour and seeing how that went. But I'm also going to tomorrow, I reckon, put it, leave it on for about two and a half hours because it recommends two to three hours for the deepest, darkest tan. And I only left it on for an hour. So this is what it looks like after an hour. So it is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the darkest tan that I would want because when you are fake tanning, like I'm naturally got a little bit of color in me because of my background, which is Sri Lankan Dutch. And then um, my dad's side is also um, Australian. So my mom's Sri Lankan and Dutch and my dad's side is Australian. So I've got a bit of coloring in myself already, but I still like to fake, fake tan. But yeah, this is the color um, so it's pretty tan still, but I would like to be darker and if you are fake tanning, you probably would like to be darker. But I reckon it's pretty good after one hour if you just want a little bit more little bit more colour than you usually have on your skin tone. So if you've only got an hour and you need to be a little bit darker, it's really handy because it is a pretty good idea having an express tan that you can just leave on for a few hours which is not eight hours. Obviously like if it's advertised at one hour, you still get a little bit of colour so it's not obviously bad like the products um 
could get dark if you left it on a bit longer, which I'm going to do. So yeah, this is just the color. I'll show you again. So that's the color. Hey guys, so it's the next day now and I just wanted to actually come and talk to you guys. So I said I was going to pan on um, for two hours and try that out. But actually I woke up this morning and the results are so, so good. So yesterday, I think once I washed it off, it wasn't as tan as I wanted it to be. But by tanning the day before, which you'd normally do if you're going to an event the next day or like tanning the night before and sleeping in it. So I recommend um, what I did. So for one of my tan for today, yesterday would have been really good as I did. So this is how the tan looks. It's pretty dark, as you can see on my stomach and upper body too. So that's like, it's so dark, I reckon. So I left it on only for an hour and it wasn't as dark once I washed it off, but obviously it developed over the eight hours once I went to bed, but I didn't have to sleep in my tan. So I reckon this is going to be literally my favorite tan from now on. I just wanted to come and say that to you guys because, um, yeah, I reckon it's such a good product because once you leave it on and then wash it off straight away, basically, it still develops and then you wake up the next day not sticky and your tan's really good. So I reckon that's so good. I'm going to be using this tan so much, I reckon. I hate sleeping in my tan, so I reckon it's really, really good. But yeah, um, so I'm not going to try it out for two hours just because I know that it will get darker, but I'm really happy with the color how it is. But yeah, if I was going to an event or something, I would leave my tan on for two hours, wash it off. Um, maybe the day before or just before I go to bed and then you sleep and then it'll wake up and you can wake up and it'll be a really good color Thanks for watching this video guys. Don't forget to hit thumbs up just down below and don't forget to subscribe as well Thanks heaps for watching everyone. Bye